Good morning everyone, welcome to another hunt. This is a new permission that uh, John's picked up. So we're gonna have a look and see what we find. There's John over there, give us a wave John. Right, we'll catch you on the first find. Right, here we go, we've got our first first find. Any ideas John? Mm, do you know what? No. <laughs> it's round, I mean first of all it's a good part of a broken spoon, but now I'm not so sure what it is. Looks like it's made of brass. Is yeah, that is that a hinge? It's is copper. Like, is that like a hinge? Yeah, it's, it's got a hole in it, two little holes now. I'm not too sure exactly what it is. I don't know if you can see that, but have, have yeah, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. yeah, it's definitely like a it's got like a, a hinge, isn't it? Right, there's the first one. If anyone out there knows what that is, please leave us a comment. Maybe a bit of farm. I don't know, farm machinery? I thought no that idea. was a, I thought when you pulled that out I thought it was a big old coin. Yeah I did initially, I thought that's handy. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Right, we've got a target in the in the hole. Let's have a look. Ah oh, we got a coin in there. There we go. First coin of the day. It's a it's a fifty pence piece. It's quite a Not, thick one, isn't it? It's quite thick. Is that a British one? It's 19, 1980. Is it? 1980 it says oh, on yeah. there. It's definitely a 50. Yeah, it's very thick. Definitely a 50 pence. That is thick, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Perhaps I'm used to the new ones where they're just like really thin things. It's a big old bulky. Big old bulky 50p. Mm. That's nice. Still, we take it. Not Roman, but it'd do, wouldn't it? It'd be nice if it was Roman. Yeah. It's got kind of a, is it Britannia on the other side? Yeah. Is it Britannia? I think, uh... No, the other side. Yeah. It's kind yeah. of got a Roman-y look about it. Perhaps it's a, a, a sign. We'll definitely take it though, won't yeah, we? Yeah, I think so, yeah. We'll mate, take yeah. that. Coin's a coin. Right, John's got a target here. And it's quite a good one, so we thought we'd put the curse on it and do it live. It's... Wasn't it? It's a very faint, thin coin or button. Button. Is it a button? Well, I don't know. It's small. Is that a button? It's got a pin on it, isn't it? It must yeah. be a button or a fence peg type thing. I don't know. Who knows? I think. Do you know what that is? A roof tile now. Isn't that it? is. That's a dolly. Yeah, <laughs> that's a roof tile now. Being a roofer, I yeah. know exactly what you, that is. You would, uh, that's a dolly. You should have got that one straight away. <laughs> yeah, Dave, we didn't need any help on that one. Yeah. We worked that one out. Even yeah. Steve got that one. Dave, if you're watching, I found I found something. Well, John found something and I knew what it was. Yeah. How about that? Before I did. There you go. Okay. <laughs> right, we just pulled this out and it's looking like a buckle or part of a buckle. Do you say that's a part of a buckle, John? It looks like it, doesn't it? It is, isn't it? That's a... Is it brass or is it iron? I think it's iron. Uh, it's not gonna be a but I think that's the... Well, there's a centre point there, and I think that... I wouldn't know about cleaning it up, but I think that's the, the piece the that pin. should that right. should go there. Possibly. We'll have to give it a clean, and I'm sure we'll find out. Nice. It's going to be the same as last time, not sure when that, are Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Good sign. Oh, let me take this off then. Curse of the live dig, John. Well, we don't get too excited, folks, because it uh, wasn't a great signal. Just more a case of finding out what it is. Process of elimination. Right, we got it out. And it looks like a brass. Did you said it. Just like a brass ring, John, isn't it? Brass, well, maybe like an eyelet to put in a tent, that type of thing. Or Could well be, or off like a tarpaulin. Yeah, yeah, probably. What was that about? How many inches down is that? Quite a few. Yeah, po yeah probably eight, ten. Yeah, it was about ten. Or should, we, or should we just tell everyone it's a ring? Well, it's a ring of sorts. Yeah, it's definitely a ring. Right, we'll get back to you on this one as soon as I've got it out. Right, I got it out and it turned out to be a big lump of foil. 
possibly from a pie wrapper. Really good signal. Just a shame it weren't a really good find. Right, we've got ourselves another coin, just sitting at the top there. I'm going to say that's another 50p. It is another 50p. What year have we got on this one? 1989. Just seeing the top there where the where the coin was sitting. If we take that one. Is that four inches? Yeah, probably about probably about five, six inches yeah. down. Okay. Lovely. Well there's a hole from the from the 50p we just found. And we've got another We've got another target in there which John's gonna quickly dig for us. So we're going to do it, do it live and see if possibly it could be another coin. Uh, about 12 CTX, about 5 inches down. Found it? It's in the, cent in the centre. Up. It's in the centre of there somewhere. Here we go, it's another another coin in there. Oh this time. What's that saying then? Romani go home. That Stay is tuned. that is two shillings, which would make that a pre decimal. And that is fantastic. And that is literally I pulled that's where the fifty P come from. And right next to it. There's the imprint there. What was the date of that 50p? There's the imprint. I can hopefully you can. Oh, I've just dropped the coin. There's the imprint from the two shillings, which is just there. That is beautiful. That is 1967. Yeah. Two shillings. Look at the look at the colouring on that. That's a nice coin. Yeah. That is lovely. Good nick. What have we got? Oh, hang on. Oh. oh, it's the heart. Oh, it's a badge. Uh, Is that a badge? Yeah, look, it's got little bits on the back. Oh, that's got your mind. I didn't know, you, didn't know you cared, John. Look, got me a love heart. Uh, sorry, Steve, but I'm keeping it. <laughs> <laughs> not getting my heart. Oh, that's cool. That's a nice little find. Something on there. There's something just there or not? I don't know. I haven't got a toothbrush. Is there? It's a badge subscription. Isn't badge it? or brooch. That's a, that's a it's nice find. Nice find, mate. Really, for a heart. I think we've hit a little hot spot here. We're not far away from where we we just found that two shillings and next to the fifty p. Mm. So that's yeah, different. I don't think I found a heart that big before. I found hearts, but not one as big as that. That's nice. What's anything else? That's it. Right, we'll catch you in a bit. Sorry, right, John's just found a button. Is it a button? Yeah. on the front. Um, Get any detail off that or not? Might need a clean up. Yeah. Need a bit of clean I think. It's quite a deep hole though. Of course. Oh there might be a one. So unicorn on one side. So there. Oops. Like a unicorn? Like you're getting the roll buttons. It's right there. Oops. That could be. We're not going to know, are we, till it's had a, had a good old clean. That's a, that's a nice find, though. That has definitely got a crest on there. What was that ringing up on the CTX? Can you remember? Mm, that's a crown. Look, there's a crown on there. Just there in the middle is a crown. That's like a royal button. Yeah. Lovely find, that one, mate. Yeah, it, uh, I think that definitely deserves a clean up. There is some form right on the back. Right, welcome to the roundup from today's hunt on uh, John's new permission, which was tough going because the grass was, was quite long, but we didn't do too bad. There's a few of the bits here. There's a really nice uh, button that John found. Hopefully you can see the detail on that. We're going to have to try and get an ID. See if we can suss out 
the sort what sort of age it is. Also I've got this heart, which is quite quite unusual to find. It's got four four bits on the back where it could have been fixed to something. It's a clasp or something. Yeah. Like probably a clasp. A couple of what did we say they were? Door hand door yeah, handles or were. some sort of handle. They're, they're threaded internally, so I mean it could be like get the old fashioned lawnmower or something, I don't know. It's another, another one there. Anyone anyone recognises anything, please give us an ID. Various bits of junk. Yeah, junk as John's just said. A little tube. Tube of whatever that is. What else we got? This we're not too sure of, whether it's a big buckle or something, it's a big lump of iron anyway, we know that much. So we're not too sure. A couple of washers. This tube of whatever that is, animal something for animal inflama animal inflammation shape. animal formula. So that's whatever that is. There's some big big lump of foil. Looks like an old milk bottle top. That I think is just a lump of foil. Various other bits. That's uh, actually to do on uh, to do with roofing for when you do compound slates. And I think you found one of them as well, John, didn't I you? Did indeed, yeah. And just over here, John, John's got one as well. So at least we, at least we knew what they were. We've got a couple of coins. We've got a couple of old style 50p's. Hopefully you can see that. They're really thick. Really thick coins, them. We've also got this, which is two shillings. From 1967. Which was found right next to one of the 50p's. Yeah, so, I think um, the old two shillings were still being used as a ten, as a, as a ten pence as piece. As a ten pence, yeah, I'd, to quite late. Yeah, so, I did think uh, that. Right, so that's about it from us for this hunt. I'd like to thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and please think about subscribing. We we'll catch you on the next hunt. Take care.